So it's the second part of the power supply build. As you can see here at the moment, I'm just testing the capabilities of the LM350K and uh, its limits. And if I want to put this to go to zero volt, what I need to do. So the setup here, this is the adjust pin of the LM350K and this is the V out of the voltage regulator. At the moment, I'm just powering this from my lab power supply. I am feeding plus 15 volt and a minus 1.3 volt. So I got dual rail power supply. The middle is the ground and the output of the LM350K. This is the plus and down here I got the negative at the bottom. As you can see here, the adjust pin at the moment of the LM350K is sitting at minus 1.24 and that's allowing me to for the voltage regulator to go all the way to zero. So if I start bringing the voltage up, as you can see here, now I've got 6.3 and my output is gone to 1.8 volt. So I can adjust it to all the way to whatever voltage you know I have. As you can see here, as I said, my input voltage for the regulator is 15.2, but because I have a minus on my pot sitting, you have to deduct that from the complete output. So I'm you know the 1.3 volt that I'm feeding minus, you have to deduct it from that 15, and this is what you get. The maximum output so that's something that you need to remember once if you feed in a negative voltage into this power supply that negative voltage will be deducted from your maximum voltage output but as, as you can see here this is a good test to show that the voltage regulator can go up uh, into zero volt if you require it to go it just needs additional circuitry that you need to have here for it to be able to do that uh, one other thing you need to remember is that uh, on the data sheet it specified that on the adjust pit you need to put a 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor but one, the thing you need to remember is um, because you feed in a negative voltage into the adjust pin that electrolytic capacitor it goes from the adjust to the ground so it's better to change that to a ceramic because um, uh, if you do that then uh, once you go into the zero mode the polarity of that um, capacitor changes and then uh, you know if if you keep doing that then the capacitor is going to get damaged and you might get ripple and stuff like that on the adjust pin so i've just put a one microfarad ceramic capacitor here and it's perfectly fine it's uh, it's work everything is working okay so let's just bring the old voltage to 5 volt as you can see here uh, the problem i have here this potentiometer is too high for this circuit this is a 20k potentiometer you really need about the 4.7k to be able to get a full scale of the voltage uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my lot dummy load up and start putting current okay as you can see here at the moment I'm pulling 2 amps uh, there's a little bit of voltage drop but the voltage drop is due to the wiring of the of the whole thing it's, it's not because the uh, because of the voltage regulator if I uh, as you can see here if I add another wire it go the the voltage will go up another problem is that as you can see here the the adjust pin is the voltage just keeps jumping up and down and that translates into the output voltage of the uh, voltage regulator so what you need to do is the next stage of me the next stage of this power supply project is for the voltage reference that I'm going to design. The purpose of the voltage reference is to give you a very stable voltage. So as you can see here, this is jumping around and again in, in terms is making the output voltage jump around as well. So once you have a stable voltage reference, once this gets stable, obviously this will get stable as well. So that's something that I'm going to do later on. This was just a quick uh, video to show you that you can take the uh, LM, uh, LM3 series, LM3 series uh, voltage regulators into uh, negative into a zero volt as you can see here see you can you can you can make them go to zero volt all you gotta do is just feed a negative voltage uh, that, that is fine so I'm gonna keep the design as the way it is here so I, I am gonna take this into an, uh, into a zero volt so it's better to have a voltage uh, power supply that goes from zero to 5.5 at uh, maybe about four or five amp for my uh, for my needs so this is perfectly okay I've, I've tested this and as you can see here, it's working all right. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to use the LM350K or I'm going to use LM317 with couple of pounds transistors because the, I think the LM350K that I have here uh, goes up to 3 amps. 
is maximum output uh, capability. So I want something that goes maybe to 4 or 5 amps because the transformer that I have uh, definitely can handle up to 6 or 7 amps. So uh, I might have LM317 with you know 5 or 6 uh, PNP pass transistors or NPM pass transistors I think or I think it's a PNP and um, so that's that's what I'm gonna do but as it stands as you can see here this is the setup it does go up to zero volt so this is perfectly fine so I'm gonna keep this design I'm gonna keep it the way it is here so the next video I'm gonna do is to do um, the voltage reference I'm gonna the design a circuit then I'm gonna draw the diagram of individual circuits that I've done and then I'll talk about that so if you like the video please give us a thumbs up and until next video thank you for watching and goodbye